Hello and welcome to a new video. Uh, I have really bad allergies right now, so please excuse me if I begin sneezing, but I'm going to try to refrain from doing so as much as I can. I still am in the mood to make some money, so I may craft some nature runes. I've been meaning to get my uh, level, uh, my uh, rune crafting level up to 65 soon, so I can start crafting death runes, but I'll need to do morning's end part too, which people complain, oh man, the quest's so bad. It's really not that bad comparatively to other things in this game that takes no time at all. So I'm going to go ahead and get that. If anything, Monkey Madness 2 is hard because the maze part is like entirely luck based. And then the fishing platform part combined with this game's terrible player tracking system just makes it impossible to do. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and craft some nature runes. Hey, so I, uh, I already runecrafted about 2,000 nature runes. I'm actually 10 short of that. But uh, I'm just going to record myself runecrafting some more. Okay, so, look at this. I just got back, and this giant clan invasion is, is like, occurring on the world I'm in. I'm on world 362. I don't know who these guys are. They seem to not have consistent names, so I don't know what clan they are. They all seem to be, like, the kind of level where people would wear the quest cape. <laughs> I am very scared right now. They all have blue capes on. Oh my Christ, this is so scary. It also doesn't help that there's like 10 random events going on right now. Um, they all have the ghost robes on. I guess they're PKers. There's this guy up here. Let me go refill my inventory. There's this guy up here who's PK and nature room runners. I need to, I like, I tried to warn him that he's going to get PK'd. <laughs> Let's go see if he moved. Oh my, that's, this is terrifying. I don't know what these guys are doing here. And I wonder if that, uh, nature room PK is still here. Yeah, he's still here. Oh no, he's getting killed. Or maybe he's killing. Huh. I don't know what's happening. So, I went ahead and made a bunch of nature rooms. And I'll go ahead and sell them for 302 GP. Let's see how much they sell for. Uh, I'm not gonna delete them right away. I'm gonna leave them there overnight. That's 1.2 mil over the span of about two hours in total time, I guess. Although it took me pretty much an entire day to actually do this. I, um, Yeah, I did, I, a lot of interruptions happen, like, I went to go eat, like, I'm not upset or anything that interruptions happen, like, I went to go eat, stuff like that, I went to go walk my dog, stuff I'm not really upset about, just, it took me a long time, what I am upset about is that it isn't worth more, it just, it feels like I'm making just so little money, and I feel like I'm actually making a whole lot of money comparatively to money other people make, <laughs> although I know most people actually make more money, because use bots or something now I have a uh, I have a theory I want to withdraw all of this and check his Zamorak pages uh, I believe I have Zamorak page 3 yeah this is going up I want to like I kind of want to invest because over the summer these things might go up because more people will be playing RuneScape because school's out and stuff 
so more people might buy samurai pages so i kind of like want to wait i kind of want to invest but at the same time i really don't have the money to be investing so i think what i'll do is i'll go ahead and just keep doing that every single day that being um what's it 25 times 4 doing a hundred trips to the uh nature rune altar every single day and i'll see like what i get i'll see how much money i get and from that money i will try to invest if i have any excess i don't really need money for anything but i might like want to like finish off prayer or something in fact i may go do that i'll see you when i'm done so i said last video that my goal is to complete the faldor hard diary um i still need to get 72 slayer so i should go ahead and work on that whenever um this is basically what i need to do i've done that i need to do that i need to do that i need to do that i've done 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 that i need to do that and i need to do that here's the thing grim tales requires 71 wood cutting and i it is boostable. I don't know how big the boosts on woodcutting are, but I know I'm going to boost it probably. So I need to go ahead and train woodcutting. So what I'm going to do is... Is I'm going to do a bunch of quests that give woodcutting experience. And as you can see, there's actually a decent chunk of them. Uh, now, the thing is, I've actually already done most of these. I can't do Recipe for Disaster. Here's the ones I can do. Monk's Friend, Eyes of Gluffery, and the Fremnic Quests. So I'm going to go ahead and do Monk's Friend and the Eyes of Gluffery. And I know I can do the Fremnic Trials. I don't know if I can do the Fremnic Isles, though. So once I finish that, I'll probably just begin my infinite cutting of logs. Until I uh, have, however whatever level I need to in order to boost my woodcutting to level 71 for that uh, tree quest. <laughs> I could also uh, do the legends quest because as you can see down here it gives experience in any of the four skills in any four of the following skills I'm sorry but the legends quest is actually pretty difficult so I don't know. But anyways time to train woodcutting. So I'm just looking at the price of maple logs really quick because I was going to begin woody cutting those and wow they're really 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 low right now and I really have no reason not to like wood cut these so I'm going to go ahead and do that um I don't know if I really feel like burning that many <laughs> eh, let's go ahead and do it be back when I've burnt 5,000 maple logs Oh, hey, didn't see you there. It's been about 24 to 48 hours. By the way, my Skype's going off, so that's not your Skype. But it's been about 24 to 48 hours since the, I recorded the last clip. And I have been woodcutting my way to victory because I knew I'd need to get this done eventually. Might as well get it done now. This will probably... Uh, hello. Not nearly take as long as Slayer, though. I should really get back to Slayer soon. 
But oh my god, is woodcutting boring. I can't believe that on my old account when I used to play this game back in 2000... Um, 2008. I can't believe on my old account when I used to play this game back in 2008, 2007. I... <clears throat> I just, like... All I did was woodcut. That's so weird. I got, like, level 60 woodcutting on my old account. And I only played, like, two days a week. Which is... Yeah, I wasn't allowed on the computer as a eight-year-old. Um, I wasn't allowed on the computer as an eight-year-old, so I would only play on weekends when I went to my granny's. And, and all I did was woodcut. I can't believe over the span of, like, the year I played, I actually got 60 woodcutting. Oh, but it's so irritating. Woodcutting is such a boring skill. I was training it earlier today, and I actually fell asleep from napping. Oh my god. I don't know how I can... How I'm gonna handle this. Luckily, I'm not a friend. I do have a rune axe on. I don't have my bronze axe. And I have several of those. And I trained to level 60 woodcutting on my old account because I... Remember, I only used the blessed axe because I thought that was the best one. Because, like, why would it not be? It's a quest item. But I guess I didn't understand that as an 8-year-old. Uh, but just slaving away, slaving my uh, way at these maple trees. I'm currently level 55 woodcutting. I'm in total time, I've been woodcutting for about 3 to 4 hours. I started at level 50, I think. I'm probably going horrendous. It's definitely not 4 hours. It's maybe like just beginning 3 hours in total time. Because I began woodcutting at like 4.10pm. And then I fell asleep around 5.45, and I just straight would cut for that. And then the day before, I also would cut for like, maybe half an hour. So it's going on three hours right now. And oh my god, this is so tedious. This is going to take me like 10 hours to get to level uh, 68. And I'm getting there because once I get to level 68, I can uh, make 100,000 to 200,000 GP and then buy some Dragon Axes and then I can use the Dragon Axe special to finish the Grim Tales quest. And then I can finally do that one task in the Falador Achievement Diary. Ugh. Also, last night, I don't know if I'll show the clip, but I was training fire making because I realized maples were dirt cheap. Like I know they already are, but they are extra, extra dirt cheap. Yeah, I got to level 60 fire making. If only wood cutting could be as fast as that. Anyways, I'll see you when I'm level 99. So, it's been about <coughs> an hour or two later, and I'm still wood cutting. It's been about an hour later. I've been cheering on the agility trainers in chat by typing random messages to them. Ever since I logged in. Um, but... Yeah, so I was just reading up the Candred Meeting Diaries. Apparently, give these maple logs more XP when you chop them. I didn't know that. So I think what I'll do is starting soon, I'm going to stop woodcutting. Maybe once I get to level 59. And I'm going to go ahead and do a bunch of runecrafting. And then I'll come back here. Once I, th I don't. Okay, I'm gonna do a bunch of runecrafting purely because I need to do something, but I don't feel like cutting maple logs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to runecraft, and then tomorrow I'm going to complete the candor and easy and medium diaries, and then I'm going because I'm going to I need to do this anyways because I'm going to complete the candor and hard diaries. So I'm going to complete Candoran easy and medium, and once the medium done, these will give me more XP. And then I can, uh, actually like, get better XP for I wish I knew that earlier before I started training woodcutting, but it's no big deal. It's, like, whatever, who cares. Um, so yeah, I guess once I hit level 59 woodcutting, maybe level 60, I don't know. I'll stop woodcutting, and I'll see you in a bit. Oh snap, I got PK'd while uh, running nature runes. So I lost my pouches, I lost my graceful items, 
Let me go check if they're there. That's kind of annoying though. There's my stuff. Anyways, I'll get back to you once I'm done. Come on, I got PK'd again. So I was on one world and there was a PKer, so I left. And then I joined the other world and their PKer's right there. And they let the two guys walk right past me. But once I come up, they kill me. What a shame. Let me go get my glory. I guess I'll be done for now. Hopefully those guys are gone. Let me put this away. Okay, let's go see if my... I all I, I guess my glory's gone. Because I think I was skulled. I, all I really wanted my graceful item spec. Black dehyde body. Large pouch. And yeah, they're already gone. So it seems they really didn't want my, uh, so all they took was my glory. That's it. All they took was my glory. So this will probably be the end of the video. Uh, this episode had mostly lots of room crafting. I got to level 64 not too long ago. One more level and I can do Morning's End Part 2. But let's check all my nature runes. That's my Skype going off, not yours if you're hearing those bleeps, which I think I deleted the sound, so it doesn't even matter. Sell these nets. Over a mil. It seems like it should be more. But, whatever. I guess I'm just getting surprisingly low results because I don't have double nets. Think about it. This whole time, if I had double nets, it'd be 2.3 mil. It'd be so worth it. There's my money. There we go. Some nice clean cash. It's probably not too clean. Money's very dirty. But anyways, I'm gonna see you next time. Next time I'll probably train some Slayer, train some Prayer, train some Fire Making, uh, train some Wood Cutting, get ready for Grim Tales, and yeah, finish getting my uh, prerequisites for the Faldor Hard Diary. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you maybe next week.